Hi, I'm Robert Hughes from Intel Corporation. I'm currently the chair of the Sports and Fitness Working Group in the Bluetooth SIG, and I served as the chair of the Medical Devices Working Group before that. The Medical Devices Working Group defined and published the Health Device Profile Specification five years ago, followed more recently by several gap-based profiles that added support for thermometers, blood pressure monitors, and blood glucose monitors. Support for devices such as continuous glucose monitors and weight scales is possible in the near future. The Health Device Profile, otherwise known as HDP, is a traditional style of Bluetooth profile. All others that I'll talk about today are gap-based profiles. HDP, together with the Multi-Channel Adaptation Protocol, or MCAP as we like to call it, define a protocol and a set of rules that are common to many health devices. HDP allows for health devices that send episodic data, as well as those that store and forward data, and others that stream data. HDP was designed to be very generic and it relies on data specifications published by the IEEE 11073 committee that define a data exchange protocol and a device specific data for a data specification that cover a wide range of devices. This allows HDP specification to support a very wide number of current and future health devices with the difference between implementations only at the data layer. HDP was published in June of 2008. In May of 2011, we published the first ever GAP-based profile. The pur purpose of this profile was to enable support for health-based thermometers. In this design, the temperature measurement is sent either directly to a data collection device like a phone, tablet, or personal computer, or if a connection is not readily available, it will store the data and send it the next time the connection is established. This profile, as well as all of our other health and wellness profiles, was designed to enable health-related measurements to be sent to a collection device in a way that it can be translated into a personal health record or shared with a healthcare provider to potentially be added to an electronic health record. In October of 2011, we published a similar type of profile which enables support for blood pressure monitors. Since some blood pressure monitors require support for multiple users in a household or a clinic, this profile adds multi-user features. In April of 2012, we published a profile to allow collection and logging of blood glucose data. This is an important profile which addresses a huge market of over 300 million who have diabetes worldwide. Thank you for taking the time to watch this presentation. Please check out the rest of the Bluetooth technology videos at Bluetooth.org. Thank you.